بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم In the name of God, the compassion of the merciful Hello dear brothers and sisters, respected viewers Welcome to Karbala, congratulations, great, great congratulations to all the Mu'mineen and Mu'minat Especially, I would like to send my congratulations my greatest, most beautiful, and the purest congratulations to Imam of our time, Ajalallah Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif, for the birthday anniversary of Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Assalamu alaikum ya Rasulallah. Tonight is the night of the birthday anniversary of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. And uh, it is also birthday anniversary of Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam. Tonight is the night of Friday. Here is Karbala next to Holy Shah of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and Abu al-Fadl Abbas alayhi salam. And we are ready to spend our time with Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Be za'ir of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and congratulate Mawla Hussein alayhi salam and Mawla Abu al-Fadl Abbas alayhi salam for this great anniversary, for this great occasion. Tonight we're going to talk about the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and perform ziyarah and get more information about uh, this pure me uh, Prophet, this pure messenger of Almighty God. And inshallah, all of us be true followers, true Muslimin and Muslims who follow the path and follow the orders of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Before we start talking and speaking about the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, let's say a humble salam to Imam Hussein alayhi salam and Abu al Abbas alayhi salam. And so let's do it all together. Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah. Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah. Assalamu alayka ya Ibn Rasulullah. السلام عليك يا ابن أمير المؤمنين وابن سيد الوصيين السلام عليك يا ابن أمير المؤمنين السلام عليك يا ابن فاطمة الزهراء Oh, Imam Hussein, I would like to send you my congratulations for the birthday anniversary of your grandfather the birthday anniversary of the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك عليك مني سلام الله أبدا ما بقيت وبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعله الله آخر العهد مني لزيارتك السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين أو إمام حسين tonight is night of Friday this night is specialized for the ziyarah of Karbala, for, to, for people to be your za'ar. And right now, lots of people are watching this live ziyarah show, and they wish to be here in Karbala and perform ziyarah next to your holy shrine. Oh, Hussein, please accept their dua, their salam, and respond to them. And call them, call all of them to be your za'ar, inshallah, soon. Let's say a humble salam to Qamar Bani Hashim, Babu Al Hawaij, Abu Al Fadl Al Abbas, alayhi salam. Assalamu alayka ya Qamar Bani Hashim. Assalamu alayka ya Saqi Al Atasha. Assalamu alayka ya Hamil Al Liwa Al Hussein. Assalamu alayka ayyuha Al Abd Al Salih, Al Muti'u Al Lillahi Wa Al Rasulih Wa Al Amir Al Mu'minin Wa Al Hasan Wa Al Hussein Wa Rahmatu Allahi. وبركاته الزهر نبارك ونشارك فرح عيد نشارك ونشارك فرح عيد نشارك ونبارك لبو الزهر نبارك ونشارك فرح عيد نشارك وطلع بدر علينا هلا بقول النبينا طلع بدر علينا يا محلى مولد يا محلى مولد مختار طه محمد محمد يا محلى مولد مختار طه بوجود الزهرة بوجود الزهرة 
أرض وسماه محمد محمد والله مدينة ومكة من يا رسول الله يا أبا الزهراء مدينة ومكة من طاها غواها محمد محمد والله رسول الرحمة لل والله رسول الرحمة للأمة لواها محمد آه طلع نور أبو الزهرة طلع نور طلع نور أبو الزهرة طلع نور بقي نور على الدنيا بقي نور طلع نور أبو الزهرة طلع نور بقي نور على الدنيا بقي نور أو أبو روح الحنينة هلا بطلق حبيبي يا محمد حبيبي يا محمد حبيبي يا محمد نبارك لابو الزهرة نبارك أو نبارك لابو الزهرة نبارك أو نشارك فرح عيد نشارك أو نشارك فرح عيد نشارك أو طلع بدر علينا وهلب يا حبيبي يا محمد حبيبي يا محمد حبيبي يا محمد فرح ميلاد فر والله بفرح ميلاد فرحان البرية محمد محمد ألف مبروك والله ألف مبروك يا عود الزكية محمد محمد نطش هالليلة والله نطش هالليلة عطر النرجسية محمد محمد ونهني بالفرح ونهني بالفرح حامل حمية محمد محمد بالأفراح القلب يهتف بالأفراح بالأفراح القلب يهتف بالأفراح القمر لاح من أنوار القمر لاح وبالافراح القلب يهتف بالافراح القمر لاح من انوار القمر لاح او تظل انت ولينا هلا بمولد هلا 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 حبيبي يا محمد حبيبي يا محمد حبيبي يا محمد إجا القرآن بدورة الدين زعيف شبه يبدا عربية اليوم شادي على البيت ولا تابعوا إجا القرآن بدورة الدين والله هدم أصنامهم والله هدم أصنامهم قوم المشركين once again I would like to say salam to all the mu'mineen and mu'minat respected viewers who are watching this live ziyara show right now and alhamdulillah I think that we've got the Facebook connection let me just start it from my cell phone to see if I can find the um, messages which are coming to this Facebook live ziyara show and thanks to my colleagues who are helping us starting all those broadcasts in order to make people be able to connect to Imam Hussein and perform ziyara from very 
far distances and inshallah all of us be true the arena of Imam Hussein alayhi salam in this night as it's night of Friday and ziyara of Imam Hussein alayhi salam is so advised in such a night my dear brothers and sisters tomorrow is the birthday anniversary of the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him and we as Muslims we need to know more about the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him when we say that it's the birthday anniversary of the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him what do we exactly mean I would like to share some information with you about the birthday of the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him so I hope everything goes right once I can inshallah yeah <coughs> The notes that I have just made right here, they are just, anyway, yeah, they are the notes right here. In the, in such a night, in such a night, exactly, in such a night in which, in the next day, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was uh, born, um, some special things, some special, some miracles, you know, happened, some unique events happened to show whole world that this is a very, uh, there is a special thing happening somewhere on the earth, which was exactly in Mecca. The first thing that happened, the, all the idols uh, and those, uh, you know, uh, statues which were uh, worshipped by people, they all were destroyed or they, let's say, they were fallen out, fallen down by their faces on the ground. In such a night, all those idols, all those, um, um, let's say, things which were being worshipped by people they were destroyed in the night of the birthday of the holy prophet muhammad peace and blessings be upon him the next thing that happened the places where the kings were sitting on those i don't know chairs or those you know uh, special places they all were broken down in such a night and in Kasra, which was one of the biggest places in the uh, Persian Empire in that time, 14 ceilings of this great building, which was called Taq Kasra, that was destroyed for no reason. You know, when the, they, those who were living there, when they saw that, oh, the ceiling of this great, great, great building is falling down. They had no idea what is happening, but it had a reason. The reason was the birthday of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. This means that with the birthday of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, something new was going to happen, a new phase of life is going to start on earth so that happened the other things that happened was the fireplace of the of those who were worshiping the fire it went off it was turned off although it was over centuries thousands of years it was uh, lightened it was uh, burning the fire which was kept there it was burning but it went off it turned off and the fire went away in the night of the birthday of Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him so if we can see any thing which was related to uh, worshiping others rather than almighty god they all had been destroyed by the birthday of the holy prophet muhammad peace and blessings be upon him 
all the emperors, all the emperors and the kings went deaf for three days. They couldn't hear and they couldn't speak for three days. So, this is very important to know that the only king on the earth was born. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. The king who has been set and chosen by Almighty God. Khalifatullah, the Caliph of Almighty God. All the other people who assume themselves as kings, as kings, as caliphs, and as uh, emperors, they're nothing. They are not legitimate. They only are ruling people by oppression, by tyranny, by power, by a force of the weapons. But the only one, the only person who rules people by their hearts and by the order of the Almighty God was the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, who was going to be born, was going to be born uh, in such a night. The sky of Mecca was full of um, those, you know, asteroids and full of uh, lights, you know, in the night of the birthday of Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. In the research that I was doing for this, for this great event, I read that the great lake of Sava, which is one of the provinces in the uh, Persian Emperor, in that time there were or there was a very great lake called Lake of Sava, uh, which went dry suddenly in one night. And why this happened to that lake? Because people were worshipping this lake and they were thinking that, okay, their God is this lake because this lake is giving them life and they can just maybe uh, fish into it and they have their food from inside this lake and other reasons, I don't know. But this lake goes dry just in this night. Ya Allah. The other thing that happened uh, in this night is that the genies, and this has been revealed in the, uh, you know, in the hadith and the rawaya and the quotations of Ahlul Bayt. Maybe the human knowledge and science has got no idea about it because this is. Um, beyond the science, but uh, through the speaking of Ahlul Bayt Salawatullahi wa Salamu alayhi, salamu alayhim ajma'in, we just reveal, we just take these things that the after the uh, creation of the human being, of Adam, uh, the Saturn and his companions, they could just go within the skies and they could just uh, steal the ideas, steal the messages and the other things from the angels and the other things. You know, they, they were just doing bad things everywhere. By the uh, birthday of the Jesus Christ, they were limited up to the fourth sky. So they weren't able to go further. You know, we've got seven skies, uh, as in the uh, hadith, and in, as it is revealed, and it has been just, uh, described in the uh, hadith. But after the birthday of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, they were more limited, those uh, satans and those, you know, uh, evils, until they were kept inside the uh, this world 
they weren't able to go further into the sky to rob and steal the knowledge and information from the angels. And it has been just revealed also in Holy Quran. <sighs> Lots of great things happened by the birthday of Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him. And why these things happened? Because the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him is going to uh, be born and whole world is going to change. And Islam, which is the main religion in the deen and Allah islam the main religion which Almighty has decided for and uh, chosen for all the human being is going to be started, is going to uh, be sent to people. So people are going to find their path of guidance. This is a very great event which is going to happen on the face of earth and that's why all these things happen by the birthday of the holy prophet muhammad peace and blessings be upon him i have received a few messages right here you all have this great opportunity of sending your messages salams and duas over whatsapp number which is shown on the screen and here for the first message we've got a voice message right now right here let's Listen to this voice message from Golnaz from India. She is saying salam to Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Salam brother Allahumman jilla wali kal faraj. Firstly, I congratulate Imam Zaman alayhi salam on this great occasion of birth anniversary of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And especially to Imam Hussain alayhi salam for his beloved grandfather and to Bibi Zara alayhi salam for his beloved father. I also congratulate Imam for birth anniversary of Imam Jafri Sadiq alayhi salam. I congratulate you and the entire team of Imam Hussain TV on this great occasion. I say salam on behalf of all Mu'mineen and Mu'minat and all respected viewers and especially on behalf of all Marhumeen. In this blessed night, I say salam on behalf of all. Assalamu alaikum Abu Abdullah, Assalamu alaikum Ibn Rasulullah, Assalamu alaikum Ibn Amir al-Mu'mineen, Assalamu alaikum Ibn Fatima al-Zahra, Sayyidat Nisai al-Alameen, Assalamu alaikum Abu al-Fazil Abbas, Assalamu alaikum Imam Rizal alayhi salam, Assalamu alaikum Abu Bima Sumaikum alayhi salam, Assalamu alaikum Imam Zamana, Labbaik ya Hussain, Labbaik ya Abbas, O Hussain, O Abbas, ya golden room is just in my view the shine of a golden room is just in my view and it will always be in my eyes until i come back i ask you for sake of your grandfather oh Hussain, call us back call us back call us back never to return to our home inshallah inshallah thank you so much sister for this great and beautiful Salam and voice message and inshallah once again you be za'ar of Imam Hussain alayhi salam here in Karbala and be able to perform ziyara next to Holy Shrine of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Everyone who is watching this live ziyara show, please don't hesitate to send your salam, your dua, whatever you would like to say to Imam Hussain alayhi salam over the WhatsApp number which is shown below your screen. So inshallah I will receive your messages and I will recite them here next to Holy Shana from Hussain alayhi salam. I have another uh, message right here. No, these are from the groups. Yes. And this was this was the only message right here. Another one, another message is only saying thank you, sir. Thank you for joining us, for being Za'ar of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. And Unfortunately, the internet connection is, is again so low, so I'm, that's why I can't get connected to the Facebook. And unfortunately, uh, even the, I think that the image of the Facebook show is freezing. I've got no idea that what is the Iraqi government doing with the internet connection they are just banning people from getting connected to the internet because of those demonstrations and those protests which are happening in this country due to their corrupt i'm not going to go through the politics but unfortunately no oppressor no oppressor stays 
forever. Those who oppress people, those tyrants, rulers, one day will vanish. And the only one who remains throughout history is Hussein. Hussein, the only power, Hussein is the only power, the only energy, the only great one who stays throughout history. And everyone from little boys to old men and women will remember him, will follow him, and will love him. And every year, on Arba'in occasion, they will come to Karbala and feed. Ya Hussein, Ya Hussein. So, Hussein is our master. We're not afraid of any government. We're not afraid of any tyrant ruler. We're not afraid of any oppressor. And we only love Hussein. We only ask Almighty God to make it possible for all of us to be true followers of Ahlul Bayt, inshallah, inshallah. My dear brothers and sisters, I'm so grateful for being here at your service. And alhamdulillah, you all are za'areen of Hussein alayhi salam. Watching this last ziyara show or not, I will be your representative here and I will perform ziyara on your behalf. Have a great night. Thank you so much for tuning in. And ya Hussein.